How your eyes can move horizontally, their structures and clinical correlations. There are five supranuclear eye movement systems. This video will discuss the saccadic system. It is otherwise known as the fast eye movement system or rapid eye movement system. These are command movements. For example, if we say, look to the right, the eyes turn to the right. This occurs rapidly and is a voluntary eye movement. The saccadic system originates from the frontal lobe of the brain, area 8, the impulses then move to the mesencephalic system, and so the anatomical pathway subserving the fast eye movements is the frontomesencephalic pathway. When you watch someone watching a game of tennis or table tennis, you will notice the eyes move rapidly from one end of the court or table to the other. The eyes keep on darting from one end to the other. These are fast eye movements controlled by the frontomesencephalic pathway. The saccadic movement can in turn be horizontal or vertical. In horizontal saccadic, the eyes move horizontally and in vertical saccadic, the eyes move up and down. Let us now understand the pathway of the horizontal saccadic. If the eyes have to look to the right, then the command for this movement is given by the left frontal lobe in area 8 of the cortex. The nerves cross over to the opposite side and reach the right pontine gaze center. From here the nerves pass to the same side, in this case the right sixth nerve nuclei. From the right pontine gaze center nerves also pass to the opposite third nerve nuclei. In this case this will be the left third nerve nuclei. All the cranial nerve nuclei are connected with each other through the medial longitudinal fasciculus or medial longitudinal bundle. In other words from the right pontine gaze center, the nerves pass through the medial longitudinal bundle to the left third cranial nerve nuclei. Till here is the supranuclear pathway. This is why this is also called the frontomesencephalic pathway or also called supranuclear pathway or upper motor neuron. From the right sixth nerve nucleus, nerves then pass to the lateral rectus muscle of the right eye. From the left third nerve nucleus, nerves pass to the left medial rectus muscle. These are the infranuclear pathways and both the eyes move to the right. In other references you might see the MLF arise from the sixth cranial nerve, in fact, the abducens nucleus is actually located within the pontine gaze center. So, the horizontal gaze or horizontal saccadic eye movement is controlled by two interconnected gaze centers. One control center is in the frontal lobe, the frontal eye field, Brodmann area 8. This area acts as a center for contralateral horizontal gaze. In the pons is a second gaze center, known as the pontine gaze center or the PPRF, the paramedian pontine reticular formation. This is a center for ipsilateral horizontal gaze. Let's now focus on the clinical correlations. If you ask someone to look to the right, this is the normal response. If there is a lesion on the right abducen nerve, this is what the eyes look like. The right eye cannot look to the right, cannot abduct. If there is a lesion on the right abducen nucleus, which is located within the pontine gaze center or paramedian reticular formation, this is what the eyes look like. Both eyes cannot look to the right or so-called lateral gaze paralysis. And you might see complete right facial paralysis as the right facial nerve also injured because it is located near the abducen nucleus. If there is a lesion on the left MLF, this is what the eyes look like. The left eye cannot look to the right, convergence still intact and the right eye exhibits nystagmus. This is called internuclear ophthalmoplegia. If there is a lesion on the left cerebral cortex, both eye cannot look to the right, but slow drift to the left. You might find right lower face weakness and right upper limb weakness. Do you find this video helpful? What topics are you suggesting for the next videos? Comment below. Thanks for watching and also please hit those subscribe and bell buttons, and do not forget the like and share buttons.